Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is your, is your top tension. Now, if you've just gotten your machine back from service, then generally you probably won't have any bobbin issues because everything has been balanced out in your, in your machine. However, one way to find out if you do have a, a bobbin issue is to get you a practice piece, run it around on your machine, and if you're pulling up any thread from the bobbin, because bobbin, a lot of times it likes to poke its head up, then you need to adjust your top tension. Now, on your machine, it's going to vary probably from where I adjust my tension on mine. I'm going to come here on my screen, and I'm going to adjust it here. There are other machines that they'll have a large panel and on screen right here. You'll go in through there, and you'll change your tension. Some will have a dial right here. Some will have a dial on the top. So you'll have to look at your service manual if you're not sure where to change your top tension. Now, the way you want to do this is you need to turn the tension towards zero, or minus on your machine. Now when you start out, let's assume that your normal tension is about a 4, 4.5, somewhere around in there. What you want to do is you want to go from say a 4.5 down to a 4, do a little practice work. If it's still bringing its head up to the top, you want to take it down to maybe a 3.5 and keep working with it until there's no more bobbin thread coming to the top. Now as I said earlier, it's really important that you know how to adjust the top and the bobbin tension because there's a lot of specialty threads out there. So the next thing that we want to talk about is we want to talk about, okay, if we can adjust it up here, then we're going to have to go into the bobbin case and we'll have to do some adjustment on the bobbin case there.